In today's video, we're playing Scunthorpe away in a game between two teams that are right in the playoff picture. They are second in the league, while our recent good form has seen us go 9 unbeaten, including big wins over Accrington Stanley 3-0, Lincoln 2-0, Aldershot by the same scoreline, and Port Vale 2-1. That has all kept us around the playoff places, and we're currently 8th in the league, but the league is so tight that a win here today could propel us back into the automatic promotion places. Before we get into the game though, our awful finances has prompted owner Stephen Cleave to put the club up for sale and we've got two consortiums interested, one of which apparently wants to sack me. So yeah, here's hoping those numbnuts get the club. And now let's get into the team for the game today versus Scunthorpe. The team today is very much a rotated squad. We've had a lot of games in sort succession lately, so we're just picking whoever is fit enough to play. So with that said, we've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Chandler and Unpronounceable are our two central defenders today. Jordan Richards gets a rare appearance at right back. And in the midfield, it's Taylor on the left. Mundell in a very new position, central midfield for him. Xavier Simmons is alongside him. And then on the right, it's Dylan Crow. And then up front, we've got David Marsden just behind the main striker, Tristan Abeldeen Goodridge. The bookmakers have made Scunthorpe heavy favourites for this game. They're 1-2 to two to win it, having won four of their last five. We are 9-2, to two, having won three of our last five. Hopefully our rotated squad can get us a decent result today. Here we are in the dressing room. Let's see what the assistant's going to do. He set instructions for three of their players. And now let's go passing it. Um, we could move into an automatic promotion spot. Not really the right answer there, was it? And so now let's just go for the usual. You know what I like to do right about now. And so telling people I've got faith in them has motivated or made everybody happy. So now prediction time. I haven't got a Scooby. 2-1. I'm going to say 2-1 to the Kingsland boys and we get ourselves back into the automatic promotion spots. Come on you Linnets. 14 minutes in and we've got the first highlight. Our keeper Herbin lumping the ball long. Dylan Crow flicks it on but there's nobody there in a green shirt to pick it up. So it goes to Ipaku in the claret and blue shirt. The wrong claret and blue, if you ask me. But now it's Simmons to Mundell to Marsden, who goes out wide. And Taylor's in space. Can he get this ball into the box? He might go for the shot himself, and he has. But that's gone wide. 25 minutes in now. Scunthorpe with a throw in deep in our half. They've got the ball into the box. And Luke Evans has given Scunthorpe the lead. And that was a little bit too simple, if you ask me. Luke Evans with his 16th of the season. A header at the near post. And let's have another look at this. Simmons failed to get the ball back. Nobody closed Evans down. Who was that who was near him? I think that's unpronounceable. Yep, he just didn't get touched tight, did he? And so that is us behind early days in this game. Ten minutes left in the first half. Mundell loses the ball there. Lonsdale goes long, but Evans loses out there to Chandler. But it only goes to another man in claret and blue. Lonsdale's in on goal here. He's in on the box. He goes for a shot early, and thankfully that was poor, and it's gone wide. Oh, my days. What an awful first half that was. Scunthorpe have been all over us. Seven shots to our one, three on target to our none, 69% of the ball. Think it's fair to say my tactics ain't working today, are they, boys? So you know what? They're playing 4 2 3 1, so that's what we're going to do as well. I think we're going to leave the team as it is. The only main weak spot we've got is Taylor on the left, but you can see here. We've not really got anybody that can replace him. Maybe Dexter Waters? What's he like on the left? You know what? Let's get him on. Let's get Dexter Waters on for Taylor. 
And I think that's going to be the main change. Maybe go standard passing as well. And go run at defence. Be more expressive. Let's try and be a bit more expressive. And yeah, that's going to be it. So let's do the team talk. Let's go passing up. Um, I said, I'm going to go assertive. I expect to see a much better showing. And most everybody is motivated. Let's see if we can get something out of Goodridge. Uh, we've got him fired up. So, come on, come on, please. Let's turn this game around. Come on, Kings Lynn. 58 minutes on the clock. Williams with a free kick for Scunthorpe. And he's curled out way too much past the post. I oh, still all Scunthorpe. McGee with it. Goes back to Williams. To McGee. And now, can we get the ball back, please? Vela. Just about in his own half. Goes back to his defender there. Williams gets it on the left-hand side. He goes to Vela. I thought he was going to cross it. I think our defence thought the same. But they finally had a shot and Herbin collects it easily. And now is this highlight is still going to go on? Herbin, is he going to start a counter-attack for us? He's kicked it long. Are we going to be able to flick it on? No, we can't. But Mundell wins the second ball. Simmons to Dylan Crow. And Dylan Crow, can he one run at the defence? Mundell, Marsden, Waters is in space. He's gone for the long shot. And Dexter Waters off the bench. I am a tactical genius. He off the bench has got us equalised here against Scunthorpe. Let's have another look at this. Crow with the ball here. He played it wide to Mundell, who played it to Marsden. Waters was in space, and his long shot gave their keeper no chance. Aberdeen Goodridge hasn't done a whole lot today, so I'm going to take him off for Rose, and I'm going to put Rose on as a pressing forward. I think that's going to be the only change for the minute. Maybe give it 10 minutes, maybe chuck Ewan Murray on, see if he can do some of his free kick late madness that he has done a couple times for us in the past. But that's the only change for the minute, Akeem Rose coming on for Aberdeen Goodridge. And now 20 minutes left, Scunthorpe coming forward again, we need to get this ball away and Wilson has, but Rose has been unable to win the ball and now it's Hornsaw with it, goes back to his defender Uma. And now Thompson with the ball. Come on, let's get this back. He's tried to play it in. Fosu to Evans. Evans is in space and Scunthorpe haven't taken the lead. Herbin's pulled off a fantastic save there. What a keeper. And now Stem with the corner ball. Fosu with it. Crosses it in. And that's gone out of the box. And that's gone to absolutely nobody. And now highlights non-stop now. Patterson with the ball inside his own half, inside his own box even. And now Richards with it. Off his long kick. Goes to Unpronounceable, who's gone long himself. And Rose collects the ball. Goes to Marsden. He's got Crow out wide if he wants him. He's gone inside to Rose. And Rose off the bench. Oh, what would that have done if I'd have had two goals off the suspense? I said I was going to bring you and Murray on. But I've been forced into it now. Marsden's got an injury. Just to make the amount of injuries we have just that bit longer. I'll show you the list of injuries after the game before we get done. But now Ewan Murray is coming on. And I think we leave him as an attacking midfielder. Yeah, we leave him like that. And you never know. Ten minutes left. Can we still win this game? Please. Oh, a minute left. I've gone very attacking. Can we get what would be a massive goal for our season? But now Scunthorpe are on the counter. And oh no, 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 no. I shouldn't have gone very attacking. Why do I go very attacking? It never works. Oh no, here we go. Simmons, Richards, Crow. Come on, Crow. Get the ball into the box. Come on, son. Oh, he's tried to cross it. It's hit their man, but gone to Richards. Crow has it again, and he's crossed it in again. And their keeper just collects it out of midair. And we're still going. We are still going here. Thompson plays it forward. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Lagby with it coming forward for Scunthorpe. He's gone to Fosu in the box. And Herbin with another great save. And come on. 15 seconds left to hold on. Surely they're not going to score now. Fosu with the corner on the left-hand side, crosses it in, we head it out, goes to their man Williams, into Evans with a long shot and oh, just wide 
And I think that's going to be the end. As indeed it is. What an end to the game there. It's finished one apiece. But you have to say. Scunthorpe have dominated us. They have absolutely bossed us. 22 shots. 2 are 10. 10 on target. 2 are 2. 62% of the possession. So how we've got a point. I don't know. I am going to take that. And we are going to run all the way back to Norfolk. So let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Uh, you've done well in avoiding defeat. And yep. Everybody's delighted. Everybody's happy. Let's go and have a look. See what that's done to the league table. And then we'll see where we'll come back for the next episode. The league table's looking like this. We're eighth in the league. Still very much in with a shout of getting into the playoffs. You can see there, we're level on points with Coventry. We're three points behind Scunthorpe in third. So even Automatic could still be on. And talking of Coventry, they are our last game of the season. You can see it there. And so that is the game we're going to come back for, for the next episode. Episode 50, that will be of walks to prem and so guys if you've enjoyed that video please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below i would love to get some likes on this video new style i've been trying out so if you have liked it please smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel for more football manager 20 content this series and the west ham 0607 series that'll be back tomorrow uh, yep guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and as well as that, check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter and the Facebook and check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. All their details are down below. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.